Good afternoon, Facebook family. Hello. This is Deacon Delbert and Alicia Font, and we'll just wait mm -hmm. for folks to come on in. We just want to make sure we on time. Good afternoon. Hey, Kim. I'm just waiting for everybody. You know, we believe in being on time. So you always mm -hmm. in Sunday school class on time. <laughs> on time. And so I'm just waiting. I see some more people coming on. Hey, Miss Barbara. Hey, Miss Barbara. Oh. We're not going to do in focus to you for you today, just so you know. Hey, Sonia. Sonia is one of my, we grew up together. All right. Girl, you know I had to come on with a hat. It's Palm Sunday. This is my palm. <laughs> I'm using this as my palm. Because it's Palm Sunday tomorrow. So we decided to dress up. We got this from Kathy Island and Matt Kathy Island Madison and her and her grandbaby to dress up. You know, so the, this is the still church, right? We it's are the, the church. church. And so therefore we are gonna dress up. And so between uh, Layla and Kathy and Reverend June Pierce, we decided to dress up for the Lord. Hey, Reverend June. Hey, Brian. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Hope you're feeling better, my brother. <laughs> Brian is from Florida. I love you. Praise God. So we're just waiting for some more folk. You know, I see nine. Let me get some more in and then we're gonna get started. And so I pray that everybody is doing well. Uh, Deacon Delbert and I are just excited to be able to come to you all again. Yes, we are. Um, and, you know, Pastor Garland supported this. Our Board of Christian Education supported this. And so um, we're just grateful to be here as servants of Fellowship uh, Missionary Baptist Church in order to come forth. So thank you so much um, for joining us. And so as we're going forth... You know, again, we dressed up because it's Palm Sunday tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I don't have a palm in my hand, but I got it in my hat. I decided to dress up for you guys, okay, <laughs> so that we can be able to, to, to have some church. We're going <laughs> to have church for Palm Sunday. <laughs> so as we're waiting for more people to come on, praise the Lord, um, I need you all to get your shield, get your Bibles, your mm -hmm. Bibles. That's, that's, you know, that's our shield. And uh, turn to Isaiah 48. I'm Wait. sorry, 42. I don't have my readers on, so y'all forgive me. Isaiah 42, 1 through 9. So right. I'm not going to read that right now, but we just want to make sure that everybody is able to get that. Isaiah 42, 1 through 9. Yes, y'all, I had to wear my hat. I had to do that, you know, let, let Yvette know that I'm wearing her, her, her masterpiece. <laughs> Just saying. All right. And then, of course, last week, you all know I had Charles Caldwell painting up uh, for the king and I. Um, tonight, we have um, Mr. S Sam Samuel Simmons, a good friend of mine. Yes, uh, he's uh, from St. Paul area. Mm -hmm. Samuel Simmons. So we're just excited for that. All right, so God's just servant is the name of um, our, our Sunday school lesson. Um, and again, from Isaiah 42, 1 through 9. Mm -hmm. I just want to also share that, again, we are um, part of Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church Sunday school class. Um, we are located in North Minneapolis, and that is 3355 4th Street. Again, in North Minneapolis, where Pastor Albert Gallman Jr. Um, is our head shepherd. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday school starts at 8.30 a.m. Central Standard. And um, the service starts at 10 a.m. And that is on every Sunday. And so, again, we may not be at the building. We are the church. So, um, you, where you are, you in, you in church. We're in church. We're just together in different homes, Okay. All right. Hey, Miss Aileen. Just love, I love everybody coming on. Miss Aileen has always been a, a huge a supporter. A, a supporter and she yes. was, um, that's my teacher. Mm -hmm. Always has been, always will be. 
So thank you. Hey, Miss Kieri, I love seeing you on here with us. I thank you all for joining us. So again, we're going to be talking about God's just service. Servant. 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 I mm -hmm. apologize. I don't have mm -hmm. my readers on, y'all. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So God's just servant, and it's coming out of Isaiah 42, 1 through 9. Again, make sure you have your you have your shield. That's the Bible. You can't do this without you having the Bible. The Bible, okay? <laughs> All right. I'll stop talking so Deacon Delbert can talk. Welcome, everyone, and we, we thank you for being here. We thank you for uh, recognizing the Word of God, and we bow to what He has to do. Today, if we will ever have a word from the Lord, we need to hold on to somebody or something because this thing has been bothering me since Wednesday about how we just just need to get in and lift up the name of Jesus. And this is about Jesus. Amen. It's not about anything else. Amen. So we'll get into prayer and we'll get into dive into the lesson. And we'll be reading from a couple different versions and we'll we'll let you know that. And and this thing will be if somebody can get blessed and we can we can just lift up Jesus. We've done our we've done our job, and we'll be more than happy about it. Amen. Father God, once again, I come to you as 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 hopeless and helpless, but knowing that Father, you have turned this thing around, and that Father, that we have hope in you, and Father, we no longer have to be burdened down by those things, Father that above this world. Mm -hmm. We know, Father, that you are God and God alone, and we lift up your name, and if you be lifted up, you can draw all men onto you, and we thank you for that. I thank you, Father, for these people who've taken time to come and want to hear a word from on high. Yes. So, Father, we ask that you hide us behind your cross and expose all of yourself. Help us to understand your precepts and your concepts and those things that you will have us to know, say, and do. And we thank you, Lord, and praise your holy name, for your name is worthy. All praise, adoration, glory, dominion, and power. Hallelujah. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Hallelujah and amen. 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 All right. And I know mm. I said that the Bible is our shield. My mother just texted to let me know that her pastor, Pastor Russ Beesham, also says it's our road map. Yes. Okay. GPS like is our road map. That's right. So bring That's out right. your road maps as we get started in the name of Jesus. Hey, sis Florine. All right. What you got for us today, Deke? Well, we're going to be reading from um, the New Living Translation. And I like to study and dissect the King James Version. So we'll do that. And we'll have uh, a little background. And when we look at this, is um, I, it's from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah's name translates into Yahweh is uh, salvation. Mm -hmm. And it's similar to other names of Joshua and Elisha and even Jesus. Mm -hmm. Isaiah is quoted more than any other minor or major prophet in the Bible over 65 times. Wow. And that is something to to get excited about just because we're coming from the Old Testament, but yet his word that goes forth in throughout the Bible is quoted more than 65 times. And that's something to get excited about. This lesson, I'm telling you, it, it's, it, it's if, if you're not shouting by midnight, wake me up. Call, <laughs> call us up because this, this thing is deep. This thing is deep. Y'all call him up. Okay? You're right. <laughs> I'll give y'all his telephone number so y'all can call him up at midnight. I'm just saying. <laughs> so what we would like to do is do what we normally would do is read the scripture, go back, dissect it, and we'll go through the entire lesson. But the spirit had me waking up and wanting to go back to uh, Isaiah 42, 3, where we can really come to a conclusion and make some real progress on this and, and i'm telling you it, it's I, I hope it blesses you as much as it's blessed us amen so i was trying to look cute for you all again this is palm sunday and so we thought we'll dress up and again kathy island's grandbaby yeah you know try to you know she she inspired us to do this so um but unfortunately i have to put on my readers so i can't look too cute right now so y'all excuse me okay i'm just saying all right, so I'm going to read from the New Living Translation. 
Again, for Isaiah 42, 1 through 9, if you want to follow along with your GPS, the roadmap. All right, I like that one. Thank you, New Church of Faith down in Orlando, Florida. So Isaiah 42, 1 through 9, the New Living Translation. Look at my servant who I strengthen. Mm -hmm. He is my chosen one who pleases me. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or raise his voice in public. That's right. Hmm. He will not raise, shout or raise his voice in public. He will not crush the weakest reed, and that's R-E-E-D, or put out a flickering candle. Hmm. He will bring justice to all who have been wronged. He will not falter or lose heart until justice prevails throughout the earth. Even distant lands beyond the sea will wait for his instruction. That's right. God, the Lord, mm -hmm. created the heavens and stretched them out. That's right. That's he right. created the earth and everything in it. Yes, he did. Yes, he he did. gives breath mm -hmm. to everyone, yeah. life yeah. to everyone mm -hmm. who walks the earth. Mm -hmm. And it is he who says... Mm -hmm. I, the Lord, have called you to yeah. demonstrate my righteousness. Mm, mm. I will take you by the hand and mm. guard you. And I will give you to my people Israel mm. as a symbol of my covenant with That's them. Right. That's right. That's right. And you will be a light mm. to guide the nations. That's right. You will open the eyes of the blind. Mm -hmm. You will free the captives from prison. That's right. Releasing those who sit in mm -hmm. dark dungeons. That's right. That's right. I am the Lord. That is my name. That's right. I will not give my glory to anyone mm -hmm. else, mm -hmm. nor mm -hmm. share my praise with carved idols. Come on now. Everything I prophesied mm -hmm. has come true. That's right. And now I will prophesy again. Mm -hmm. I will tell you the future before it happens. What a God. My what Lord. What a God. <laughs> what a God. All right, D, you want to give us a background? Well, we, we can just get a hallelujah, happy right now. That's some good stuff. I just, I love reading and hearing the word of God read to me. To, to see this thing open up and God just show up and show out. Ha, ah, yes, God. Verses 1 through 4 speaks to the character and the coming of the Christ. And verses 5 through 12 speaks to the blessings of his kingdom, mm -hmm. even though we're going up to 9. But the, the blessings of the kingdom is the remainder of, of this uh, passage of verses. Okay. And this, when we dive into it, this, this thing gets off right, up, right from the start. So you've got to hold on to your mules right at the beginning because God shows up and he's and, and, and God is speaking about his son. Mm -hmm. And he gets into that there's no one else besides him that can get the job done. This is, what a God. What a God. All right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you all know Deacon Delbert always. We have to, he, he has to do the Sunday school lesson mm -hmm. before the Sunday school lesson. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I, I, we've gone through mm -hmm. this together. Mm -hmm. But the blessing is, mm -hmm. is that we are doing this for mm -hmm. the Lord together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when they say with two or more gathered, mm -hmm. there he mm -hmm. is in the midst. And so I just mm -hmm. praise God that I can do that with my, my help meet. Mm -hmm. And he's my help meet. Mm -hmm. And so I am here standing by his side to help spread the word. So we are just vessels. Um, again, with Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church. Um, you know, we're just one of the Sunday school classes. And it's a blessing that after we're done, about 7.30ish, uh, we have uh, one of our other deacons and another mm -hmm. minister is going to bring forth the word to talk about um, how to be a how to be a member of the church. So uh, feel free to go on to Reverend William Pierce uh, page or uh, De Deacon Clyde Brotherson, and they'll bring a, mm -hmm. a word as well around 7:30. All right, so we're going to break this down. So again, I have to put on my glasses. I can't look cute with these, with these readers on. So mm -hmm. y'all forgive me. Y'all already know. I'm just saying. All right, so Isaiah 42, 1 through 4, it's regarding the character and coming of Christ, okay? So 42, 1, and I'm going to read this from the King James Version for my, my, um, my husband. That's what he asked. I, I'm more of a 
um, new living translation person, but he, he likes to go deep. So this is a little bit for people like myself who's not as deep, and then for him who's deep. Um, so this is the King James Version now that I'm reading. And it says, Behold mm -hmm. my servant, whom I uphold, mm -hmm. mine elect, mm -hmm. in whom mm -hmm. my soul delighteth. That's right. That's right. I have put my spirit upon him, mm -hmm. and he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love this part because he speaks to the the Gentiles, and he's speaking to everyone who knows and believe in who the Christ is. Mm -hmm. He says, we, we see this prophecy as the coming of the Messiah. When we see the word behold, it's saying, come closer. Let's take a, a, another look, a better look at this. Mm -hmm. We know that Jesus is a servant of the Lord. Even, even from, uh, from being his, the, the son of God, the fact that he obeyed the will of the Father. I love the, the part in Matthew 3, 17. He said, behold. Mm -hmm. And I love the word just to behold is alone. He says, this is my son whom I am well pleased. Mm -hmm. This is when the spirit had descended on Jesus as he was being baptized okay. Okay. by John the Baptist. He says again to behold. Oh, okay. This is like I'm, I'm showing him off. I'm giving him to the world to show him about who Jesus is. And that behold has, has a powerful connection to who Jesus is. It speaks to his character. Mm, okay. All right. So verse 2, he should not cry mm -hmm. nor lift up nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. All right, then Isaiah 4 and 2, 3. A bruised reed mm -hmm. shall he not break. That's right. And the smoking flax mm -hmm. shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. All right. And so bruised reed, smoking flax, you know, Deacon Delbert wants us to go back to this at the end um, because he wants to provide a better explanation and the conclusion that's going to really make you shout. So um, like, like we talked last week, I think Pastor talked about it. You can get your shout on. Don't nobody have to see it. I think that was the, uh, Reverend Pierce. But, you know, we get your shout on wherever yes, you sir. at. Because you yes, know sir. what? Allow, those, allow that spirit to be full and fresh and be ready to open up them windows up and so that we can be able to bless this whole city, oh, yeah. bless this country, mm -hmm. so that it can be healed in the name of Jesus. All right. Okay, so um, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But he says Jesus himself said that he was the truth. He alone shall judge the world. His judgment is just. just. That's right. So you can go back to John 14 and uh, verse 6, John 14, 6, mm -hmm. in order to, to hear that, okay? And so that was part of the character and coming of Christ. That's right. And now we're going to go to Isaiah 42. Five through nine, and that um, Deacon Delver said is regarding the blessings of his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay, the blessings of his kingdom. So 40, Isaiah 42 5 says, and this is King James Version, thus saith God the Lord, mm -hmm. he that created the heavens and stretched them out. That's right. He God. that spread forth the mm -hmm. earth mm -hmm. and that which cometh out of it. Yeah. He that giveth breath unto mm -hmm. the people upon it and spirit to them that walk therein. And then six says, I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness and will hold thy hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles. And so, go ahead. Go ahead, Dee. Okay, the, the covenant is spoken here is the covenant of grace. The law was given to Israel, mm -hmm. to the physical house of Israel, but grace was given to all who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we'll see that as this thing unfolds, we're seeing that he's opening this up to anyone who believes on Jesus 
that everything that he had promised us, mm-hmm. that we can go to God and say, Abba, Father, who art in heaven. All right now. And that is because we are, by the spirit of adoption, that we can go to him and say, Abba, Father, because he becomes our father as well. Thank you, Lord. All yes, right. sir. Thank you, Lord. Mm. So now we're going to Isaiah 42, 7. All right. To open the blind eyes, mm-hmm. to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. And so this, you know, I was a little, when Delbert and I was talking about it, I was like, well, what do you mean to open the blind? I'm not blind. I, I, I can see. As a matter of fact, I got four eyes. <laughs> got six today, y'all. Got six today. So he had to under, make me understand the difference between spiritual blindness versus physical blindness. The blind man in the Bible that Jesus healed was a physical blindness. Mm-hmm. The blind that we don't want to be is spiritually blind. The Pharisees were spiritually blind. Jesus often said to them that they were blind Pharisees, that they knew what the word was, Mm -hmm. but refused to receive it. That was being spiritually blind. That's the worst kind of blind to be. Because if you're physical blind, that could be fixed. The spiritual blind is those who decide not to hear the word of God and adhere to it. That, that's, a, that's a bad place to be. We, we do not want to be there. Okay. All right. And so now we go to 40, Isaiah 42, 8. All right. It says, I am the Lord. Mm-hmm. That is my name. That's right. And my glory will I not give to another, mm-hmm. neither my praise to graven images or idols. And so if you go to 1 John 5, 7, it says, for there are three that bear record in heaven. That's right. That's right. The Father, mm-hmm. the, Word, the Word, which is Jesus. That's right. And the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. And these three are one. That's right. And as we know, that is the Holy Trinity. <laughs> All right. And then 42 9 says, Behold. See, Del- Brother mm-hmm. Delbert be telling me to, if mm-hmm. I'm going to read it, read it right. Mm-hmm. He says, Behold. The former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Mm-hmm. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Second mm-hmm. Corinthians 5 and 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Mm-hmm. Old things have passed away. And then he says, Behold, all things have become new. And when we think of the newness of God as all those things that we uh, have been in the past, Mm -hmm. we no longer have to worry about now because he's doing a new thing in us. When he called us out of the darkness into his marvelous light, he created a new thing. Mm -hmm. He started a new beginning. He, He erased all of our old things that we were and people said that we were. And now this is a new thing that he's doing. So everything that's going forward is going to look and sound and is different because God made us that way. He made us in his own image that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And this is uh, some kind of God, I'm telling you. So I said we were going to circle the wagon. So Miss Chatty and Miss Connie, you need to get on to hold on to something. <laughs> it, it's about to go off up oh, in here. Oh, Lord. Because I, I, this, this part that, that I can hardly hold my peace, just wanting to get back to this because I wanted to make sure we had time to talk about this bruised reed and, and, and this, this, this smoldering flack. Mm-hmm. And we're going back, mm-hmm. now mind you, we're mm-hmm. going back to Isaiah 42, chapter, excuse me, chapter 42, verse 3, mm-hmm. Isaiah 42, 3. That says a bruised reed, Mm -hmm. R-E-E-D, shall he not break. That's right. And the smoking flax, Mm F-L-A-X, shall he not quench. And he shall bring forth judgment unto truth. Break it down, Deacon (laughs) Delvin. Okay, so I'm going to read this part, this, this, and I have to have a little explanation about the reed. The reed, as you know is a tall is tall grass 
which uh, you find in lakes and rivers. When Moses' mother placed him in a basket and she pushed him out amongst the reeds hmm. so they could find his way down the patches way down to the Nile. And so the reeds are just tall grass and even to when they made the uh, crown of thorns for Jesus, mm -hmm. they placed a reed in his right hand as a scepter. And when they were mocking him, and when we talk about the flickering flack, in those in the Bible days, the Bible, the, the candles were made of uh, clay and they had a linen wick, a flax. And when the when the can when the uh, wick would grow low, hmm. and then it would soon extinguish itself. But Jesus came, and the metaphor is that Jesus became this this wick. He became the light, l i g h t, of the world. And because he was the light, that it would never be extinguished. That would mean that we would never be extinguished. We would live on forever. And when we talk about the bruised reed, he was bruised for our iniquities, but he wasn't broken. Mm. Even to the cross, <laughs> they thought they had broken him. They thought his light had, had, had smoothed out, but it didn't. He, because he's God and God all by himself, he showed up and showed out in various ways. And if you would allow me to, to even to, to read it. Hmm? Yeah. So I had, we had to look that up so that you all won't say that Brother Delver, this was Brother Delver's word. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, at Matthew 27, 29, mm -hmm. all right, so you can see the comparison. It says, and when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head. Mm -hmm. And a reed, R E E D, in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. If we could see, um, I don't know if they could see that well. Y'all know I can't. Mm -hmm. That's the old days, the pottery was made of clay and the wick that you see hanging out of that was what the flax would have been. Okay. He, and that would be never be extinguished. So when we think of the, the bruised reed, we think of the world is like the, the reed itself and the people in the world. Mm -hmm. So this part, uh, this, this remind me of uh, uh, hearing Sister Felicia Seeing that he decided mm -hmm. the decisions that he made through these things that I shall read for you is his decision mm -hmm. and his decision comes from us joining him in belief mm -hmm. and watching God do his thing. Okay, y'all be y'all hold on now. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> hold on now. Hold on. It says to the world, a bruised reed is a worthless thing. A bruised reed. It has no power, no stability, no purpose. Hmm. It is good for nothing but to be cut down and discarded. Hmm. So in the world, there are so many bruised people, individuals who have wounded, have been wounded emotionally, mm -hmm. spiritually, or physically. My Lord. They are feeble. Hmm. And to most of the world, they are dispensable, but not to God. All right now. Not to God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the examples would come directly from the Bible. If we understood the disfigured man hmm. who Jesus met in Matthew 12 was a bruised reed. And Jesus gave him strength and cured his shriveled hand. Yes, sir. He was bruised. The woman taken in adultery was a bruised reed. My Lord. Mm -hmm. In John 8. And Jesus saved her from stoning and forgave her sin. Thank you, Lord. What a, she was a bruised reed. Jairus, who was a bruised reed, he mourned his daughter. 
his daughter's death, and Jesus strengthened his faith yes, God. and raised his daughter from the dead, a bruised reed. Mm -hmm. The woman with the issue of blood, <laughs> come on, somebody. Yes, sir. In Luke 8 was a bruised reed. My God. And Jesus restored her to full health. Thank you. When we talk about bruised reed, we're part of that group. Anybody who is dis this own this is crushed down pushed to the side the marginalized people we're speaking of here are bruised reeds yes lord the one the my favorite is the woman of name in luke 7 11 through 12 is she was mourning the loss of her son as she was mourning jesus and the disciples came through the crowd Jesus having a heart for her, knowing that she was broken. She, she, was, she was a widow of just one son. She didn't have any more children. She was bruised. Oh she, she was broken. She was bruised. Jesus came through. As her son was being carried down in the briar, in the coffin, he touched the coffin. Thank you, Lord. He touched the instrument of death. He... he he spoke to death itself. He spoke to death by touching the briar, by touching the coffin. And the boy, it said, he got up. And because we are bruised sometimes, but we're never broken, we may have a, a, a smoldering flack, but Jesus mm -hmm. comes and he strengthens, he takes all that away. And he died for our iniquities. He died for our sins and in place of our sins. Yes, God. And God had even uh, to, to tell Moses who he was. He says, I am that I am. Tell them, Moses, who I am. Okay. I am the one that would change the, the course and the, in the, in the, the course of tides. I am that person. Yes, God. And because we're flickering flax, we don't have to worry about those things of life that's going to happen to us because our, our wick will never grow, will, will filter out at all. And, and I love it that our candles that we have, that wick, this one may be distinguished, but not the one that God has for us in life. Yes, God. Sometimes it looks like that this thing is about to blow up mm -hmm. and get out of hand, but he says, not so. Even when Jesus on the cross and they had made those reeds out of a crown and mocking him and putting the reed in his right hand as a scepter, okay. mocking Jesus, saying that if they are the Christ, that they, he needed to come down and do something. But then last I checked, Jesus, being only Jesus, he descended down into Hades okay. and he preached the revival <laughs> and all those who were captives mm -hmm. to come with him. And he rose up on that third day with all power of death, hell, and the grave in his hands. Yes, sir. Because all the things that was bruised, that he had became a bruised reed for, for our sins you, and in place of our sins, it was no longer that he went to the cross to die for our sins and he eliminated sin altogether. Thank you, Lord. So his second coming, that he will come and eliminate death. And he would, everything that we see him as now, we see him as Lord of Lord and King of Kings. Right. We're just going through the formality when he comes back again because he's already done it. And, and I love the, the, the song that he decided. He decided to stay on the cross. Yes, sir. That he didn't come down. And I, I can hear old Reverend James Cleveland saying that he, the, the thief asked him, if you are the Christ, please come down. Save yourself and then save us. And the other one said unto him, I don't know if you truly are the Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. But he said, he said, remember me. When you get into your kingdom, yes, God. He said that 
we deserve what we're up here for. Yes. But but God, mm -hmm. but God, he, he didn't say a murmuring word. Mm -hmm. And he went to that cross knowing that he had to do this to fulfill the prophecy was a, was, was his, to his father. Yes, God. He says, not my will, but thine be done. <laughs> and when he gave up the ghost, they thought Jesus. they had him. He, they thought they had Ooh, him. He Lord. was bruised, mm -hmm. but not broken. There was not a, not a thing broken on his body. That's right. And then he, because he being God, mm -hmm. he went down into Hades, okay. into Sheol, and preached the revival. Mm -hmm. And when he came back, he was more powerful in his Praise death what they thought his wick had it been diminished, but it wasn't. Okay, they must God. have forgot who they were dealing with because his wick will never be diminished. My and God. he told Thank us you, ours will not either. And that we might bend during this time of Corona, but we won't break. Okay. He said we might All have right. to go through some trials and some tribulations. We may have to lose some people. My some Lord. people may have to get sick, but they will recover. He said, because he's God, just right, because he's God, he would change the course of every river. He would, he would, he would make things right again. Mm -hmm. And I love it because we're, we might be bruised. We might be a bruised reed, but we will not break. Amen. And I thank God for being God. I thank God that he decided to stay on that cross. All right. And because of him staying on that cross, he, he gave us life and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. The, the power that he has now, even in life, that we know that he is God. All we have to do is just look back. Shirley Caesar said in her song, if we just look back over our lives and we have chance to think it over, I can truly say that I've been blessed because of our testimony. Mm -hmm. I love the Lord and I'm glad that we had an opportunity to spread the word today. I just pray that it found a fertile place yes. in your heart and that somebody might be blessed and someone may be able to go on and tell others how good and how great God is. Amen. And if every opportunity I get, I'm going to praise his holy name. A thousand may fall at my side, but 10,000 at my right hand, but none shall come near thee. Okay. God is God and God alone, and I praise him because I love him, and I love him because I know what he's done in my life, and I thank God that he blessed you as well. Amen. Alicia and I thank you for allowing us to come into your homes and into your hearts to spread the gospel according to Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen, and we thank Pastor Gallman again and our leadership team at Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church for allowing us this opportunity to yes. speak on their behalf. Um, so we thank you. You know, again, um, we're just one of a number of Sunday school cl um, classes at Fellowship. And so having this opportunity to come to you is a blessing to us. Um, th this is a ministry in itself. Mm -hmm. We're stepping out on faith. And trusting and believing that his word will go through. They can shut down the, the doors of that building, but we, all of us, mm -hmm. we are the church. We are and the so church. we're spreading it. And so mm -hmm. where he said where there are two or more gathered, there he is in the midst. So thank you again. Again, if you're able to, if you don't have anything to do, y'all ain't got nowhere to go. <laughs> y'all better stay mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't got nowhere to go. Um, uh, our Reverend William Pierce and Deacon Brotherson will be doing a Zoom of um, a class around 730 about what a member is to the church. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we will close out with some prayer. Uh, let my Boaz mm -hmm. pray us out. And please let your light so shine so the world can see. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. Yes. And now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ever ask or think, according to the power that worketh within us. I offer up these prayer promises, these blessings, that, Father, you allowed us to speak your word and that we lift your name on high. Your word says, Father, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And, Father, I pray, and Alicia and I pray, that everything that we said and did, that we brought honor and glory to your name. I thank you, Lord, and praise your holy name. In the sovereign name of Jesus, I pray.
Hallelujah and amen. Let the church say, Amen. amen. God bless. God bless. Thank you.